five minute geography lesson we're covering theme five element seven ecosystems grab those colored pencils i'm mr s and i'll be your five minute teacher today's a short lesson don't tell the head but be warned the next lesson is a double we're covering what an ecosystem is and the different constituent elements so ecosystems are a community of biological life interacting with the physical environment but we also use this word called biomes and a biome is a large scale ecosystem which spans the globe. So you can see on my map here that we've got bands of color that represent different ecosystems around the world. Now, the location for these different ecosystems is largely down to climactic factors. So for example, this luminous green happens around the center of our planet along the equator. And the reason for that is uh, this ecosystem requires hot but also very wet conditions and that's what you find at the equator and in contrast if we look at this luminous blue at the top this is tundra and tundra is effectively like a dry um, a cold desert and near the poles it's cold and it's very dry now there are two constituent parts that make up an ecosystem there's the biotic factors and the abiotic factors the biotic factors are things like plants and animals, while the bio abiotic factors are the nutrients, the soil, water and sunlight. But they don't exist in isolation. So for an ecosystem to have good soil, then plants and animals need to die so that those nutrients can go back and replenish the soil. That in turn means that when the soil has a lot of nutrients, it's uh, easier for the plants to grow and then that means that the animals have more to eat. So it's what's called a symbiotic relationship. Well, that's it. I did say it was a short lesson. So keep your revision biotic and complete the try it now tasks for homework. Class dismissed.